Okay, so now we want to take a legal deep dive into this landmark case. And I want to bring in attorney Hector Diaz with Diaz Law. Hector, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so what happens if law enforcement does not say the Miranda rights to the suspect who's under arrest? You know, the Miranda rights are, or Miranda warnings are something that every police officer, every lawyer, criminal defense lawyer, every law student really, you know, hears about these Miranda warnings in this important case um, that, you know, that we're talking about. If a, def if a suspect is in custody, under arrest, mm -hmm. and police seek to question that person in that environment, they have to be read the Miranda warnings. Mm -hmm. And now, does it happen all the time? No. Sometimes there are mistakes. Sometimes there are issues. Sometimes maybe law enforcement just ran, you know, ran over the, the, the situation and did not give them you know, their rights. In those situations, the statements that a person makes, that that suspect makes, cannot be used later against them if they're prosecuted. They're essentially suppressed. A prosecutor later may have a confession, but in that situation where Miranda warnings are, are not given, mm -hmm. that statement will not come in. Okay, but here's the thing though. The Supreme Court decision was back in 1966. So is the Miranda right still as strong and important as it is today? You know, it is strong. It is important. It's something that, you know, we, it, it, as a defense lawyer, when I get a police report, it's one of the first things I look for. If my client made a statement and was in custody, I want to know, was he read his Miranda's? Mm -hmm. Now, um, you know, again, in terms of the criminal you know defense and, and in terms of defending somebody it is there and it is important um, recently the US Supreme Court though carved back a little bit in terms of of indicating that if a police officer say fails to give Miranda warnings right. later that person say spends some time in prison wrongfully mm -hmm. wrongfully accused and and maybe there may have been a Miranda violation there where he wasn't read his Miranda's and that statement that shouldn't have come in actually came in against that person mm -hmm. You can't go now and sue law enforcement. Now, wow. why is that important? It's important because now, you know, maybe an officer recognizing that, hey, I'm not going to be treated with as harsh, I'm not going to be subject to a civil lawsuit, might now not be as considerate of those rights going forward. Yeah. But they are important. They're yeah. still there and, and they are, you know, something that's very important to the process in terms of, of criminal justice. Yeah, in, in light of that latest case, that hurts the defense and the suspect. All right, Hector, thank you so much.